Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and it's been quite a while since I've recorded anything for this channel and I just thought I'd take this opportunity to record maybe a bit of an update while I'm out at the park flying my little flip drone here I haven't flown this for probably years now and I was just seeing how much battery was left in it once you charged it up again and seeing whether it was still worth trying to keep going with this one uh, it's not a bad little drone uh, it can sort of mate, maintain its position if you want to use it as like a second angle camera you can sort of send it up in the sky and it will hold its position for a little bit it's not very stable so you'll see it jumping around a bit might put a bit of footage in so you can see it and it will record video for about five minutes straight before it runs out of battery but if you get a good still day which today is about as still as what I've ever usually gotten and it's still been quite bumpy so uh, it might be something I continue to use it's just easier to carry around because uh, it just all folds down this nice little rectangle thing that you can just carry around in your pocket and all the controls just work off your phone so it's one of the reasons why I like it I just wish it was a lot more stable and you could literally send it up in the sky and sort of point it in a direction and forget it like you can a little bit with some of the DJI drones uh, but this one you have to keep an eye on it just in case the wind gets to it or something along those lines but anyway uh, you get in this weird angle because uh, I'm in Gawler's what I call Gawler's Beginner's Skate Park which is completely it's our old skate park and it's just like the flat concrete that's left here but it's still an awesome place just to skate around Obviously the concrete is so smooth and good and it's just great to do flat ground stuff on. Uh, but this is like only the second time I've been on my board since probably January of this year and I haven't been making skate videos or any videos for that matter uh, because of a couple of like, a foot injury or both feet injury if you like that I've been carrying which I don't really know what's from I think it's just general strain on my feet from skating maybe uh, it hasn't it's just been like a pain in the top of both my feet more so in my ollie foot than in my other foot like the back foot that I pop ollies with and I just thought maybe if I just give it a rest it would eventually sort of heal up and I could get back to skating and over the course of wherever it was when I last skated, January till now um, my front foot is pretty much healed up, I don't have any pain in that anymore uh, but my back foot's still coming and going but I think I'm going to try and get back into skating anyway and just sort of do really low impact stuff with that um, it's been a different pain in my sort of Ollie foot, and you can imagine to describe it. Um, it's like if I put a lot of pressure on it, it's like sort of if you imagine that's my foot, and these are the spaces between my toes. If I put a lot of pressure on here, I get like a pain in between my toe here, and it's like if I took my finger and just really pushed down in between my toe. Uh, it's really quite painful when it happens uh, but it comes and goes and it doesn't affect me walking around at all it's just more for impact that it becomes a problem but I've sort of been skating around in my last session and it's been okay uh, I've got a new board set up I've got here this is my board pusher square nose retro deck which I put 
my titanium trucks on that I had on my other setup, which are really light. I did have some sieve trucks on here, I think they were, and they were very heavy, so I swapped them out. And we've got mini logo wheels, 101A. And I think they're 60 millimeters, uh, which makes them a little more shock absorbent. And actually this whole setup gives less pressure on my back foot than what my old one was. So I don't know if it's just because the board's new and it's got a bit more give in it. Whereas my other board was getting on for about five or six years old and was getting quite hard and probably well overdue for swapping out. Whereas this board here is only maybe a couple of years old at most. And barely skated, so it's still got a lot of pop left in it. Anyway, this setup's been pretty good. I'm quite liking it. Uh, the bigger wheels are really good. They roll much better than uh, what my smaller 52mm ones did. Which are probably worn down to something quite a lot less than 52mm as well, which probably wasn't helping my feet. Anyway, that's where I've been, sort of trying to get these feet to heal up. Uh, one of them's there, the other one's not quite. Uh, it's better, but it still sort of comes and goes, and I don't think it's really going to get much better. And people have sort of suggested for me to wear really good shoes, and I do. Um, I haven't found shoes better than these things. The uh, ES whatever they are, the sort of original OG 90s ES shoes, they've got a name, I can't remember what it is, but uh, they're about the best skate shoe I've come across at all, because all the new ones don't have enough sole or padding in them and they really don't do anything for my feet at all. I've tried newer shoes, like some of the more modern skate shoes, and they just don't cut it for me. All these modern skaters seem to like board feel so they go for fairly thin soles and I'm not into that at all. As soon as I hear a shoe's got good board feel then I know it's going to be no good. Uh, I'd much rather have more padding between my foot and the ground than board feel. But anyway, just in regards to this channel I'm not making any promises but there may, I may do a few more skate videos, but I think I'm going to have to sort of pivot this channel back leaning towards doing arts and my painting and that kind of thing, which is what it started out as. Uh, because really I'm not going to get any better with skate videos than where I'm at, particularly not with the foot injury. Uh, so I'll maybe conclude a bit of skating here and there in each video but it's not going to be the focus I think maybe go back to doing the art and animation and all that stuff is the main focus of these videos uh, but that's not to say I'm going to get back into a schedule uh, this could be a video that I post and then you don't see me for the next six months so who knows I'm still trying to work all that out a uh, couple of other things, I'm closing up my board pusher skate store. Uh, I reckon I've had that for a good five or six years. Just no one's really buying anything from it. I've had a couple of sales over those times, but it's not really worth the $50 a year I pay just to keep it open. Um, so I'm closing that up when the subscription for the store runs out in February of 2022. Uh, if you're interested in seeing any of those boards, I'll put a link in the description for this video if you want to buy anything. Yeah, I'm closing up some of my other merch stores with my skating gear. I'm closing my threadless one, I just really can't be bothered with that. Uh, it's way too much work to have multiple stores. I'm going to keep my red bubble one open so if you want like any of the designs I did in terms of the skateboarding ones they'll be in my red bubble store. 
uh, that'll have a link in the description that's the only one I'm keeping open as well is going to pivot I'm going to get away from doing skateboarding stuff because again they're not really selling either it'd be nice to be able to sell the skateboard designs and stuff but no no one's really buying it I don't really have a community around me and I can't afford to do the marketing and I've tried search engine stuff and trying to get the organic mark marketing happening but it's not really going anywhere so just close that up and sort of go back into doing stuff that I'm better at and seem to have had better luck selling which is just doing art in general and doing my animation and digital products but again those designs if you're interested in them they'll always be in my red bubble store and I'll probably do the odd skateboarding one now and again but I think I'm going to wrap it up I think I've got people wanting to skate around me so uh, I'll leave it there like and subscribe if you want to I'm going to try and get this channel moving again but I'm not making a schedule at this point in time so uh, subscribe and you'll be notified when a video does come out but till then see you later bye for now